Welcome to the Critter Crops demo. This is a Halloween themed farming game where you control a young girl called Sylvie. She's a young witch and she's banished from her home for her magic, apparently. I don't really know too much other than that. It just, it looks so super cute. Of course, like there's a lot of demos propping up for the summer game festival so i'm probably going to be trying a lot of different games so, so i'm really excited for that this looks great i can't wait to, to get stuck in so let's see what's going on all right you're about to delete any save data huh i don't have any <laughs> this is the first iteration of the alpha build so there may be bugs right if you see this icon on the bottom it saves us to auto save uh okay Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. I absolutely love the art style for, for this game. And of course, I just can't help myself when it comes to farming games. <laughs> I love them too much. That was a long loading screen, but I'm sure it will be worth it. So this is us, little Sylvie, on a boat. I'm guessing we're going somewhere like, we're, like we just got banished, right? So we're guessing we're gonna go somewhere else to live or something. I'm not entirely sure. All right, have we arrived? All right, here we are. Oh, look how cute it is. This game is completely hand-drawn as well. I think that's super impressive. I love the animation <laughs> for the like the way she walks. <laughs> Just, I really like it. It's very cute. Goodbye. All right, we've landed. Okay, anchors, ahoy! <laughs> very nice. Okay, let's go. So we got some kind of like currency up here. I don't entirely know what that is. Let's see if we got any like buttons or anything. We just got like a save button. Uh, that seems to be about it. I don't seem to I don't seem to have any other buttons. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, hello. Oh, look how cute she is. Look at this cute little Sylvie. She's got some kind of like Animal Crossing like talk or something like, you know, the, the chitter chatter they do in Animal Crossing. She sounds very similar. So this is Murma Town. I can't believe I finally made it. Although this place has definitely seen better days. Can we build it up? That'd be nice. Oh, well, this is my new home now. Anything is better than my old home with all the witch hunters and pitchforks and stuff and such. Oh, gosh, why would they want to kill someone so cute? Look at you. You're adorable. Anyway, I suppose I should go find Mullery Mansion and start get it and start getting settled in. That sounds great. All available quests can be accessed through the quest journal. To access it, press Q or... Okay, okay, that makes sense. So we've got available quests. Goodbye, old. Hello, older. So i got to go find a mansion. I'm moving into a mansion? Oh my gosh, how rich am I? <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, the top portion of the quest... Um, the top portion of the quest journal shows all the quests available and the bottom gives the details about the, the quest. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I don't think we need to know anything there. I got like, looks like there's some other buttons, like there looks like there's a, a rucksack and I don't know what the other ones are so I guess we'll we'll find out. But I, I really love the aesthetics for this game for sure. Is this the, the town plaza or something? There's a crop shop. Is this where we buy all the plants? Can we go in? Crop shop? What on earth does that mean? It's kind of strange though. This shop almost seems like someone has been here recently. Why do I get the sense that I'm not alone in this place? I should really try to find shelter. Who knows what's out there? Oh, creepy. Super creepy. Well, it is Halloween inspired, even though it's so cute though. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think there's something that goes bump in the night in this game? Who knows? What's happened? Why is it all abandoned? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Am I going to like a haunted place or something? Should I be worried? Hmm, what an odd shaped door. I wonder what sort of shop used to be here. I don't know, an odd shaped door? Oh yeah, like it's like, it's like rectangle and it's like sideways and it's not even on the ground. <laughs> what's up with that? Maybe uh, some ghosts live there or something. Oh my gosh, what's this? There's some like, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way or something. What is this? Let's have a look. I'd be really, it'd be really nice if these creepy spiky roots weren't in my way, but I don't have magic to subdue the phoenix fire aura it has. Maybe one day I will. Oh, so it looks like I'm going to get some kind of like magic or like some spells or something like that in this game. That's going to be quite interesting. Is it getting dark already? Oh no, I feel like I've barely even done anything. We got to hurry up. Hup, hup, hup. <laughs> Get going. <laughs> we we gotta do some marching. We gotta get a, a move on, right? This is not 
looking too good right now. Is this my mansion? Oh my gosh, is there anything over on the right side? Let's have a look. Am I just super rich? Like, what's going on? I seem to be able to move into this amazing place. It's like a little random plant. I don't seem to be able to do anything with that right now. I just kind of want to look around, see what's going on, see what's around me kind of thing would be useful. I have to say the character moves kind of slowly. That's the only downside to, to this, I guess. <laughs> Yikes, not sure what those spiky things are, but I shouldn't get too close. If only I had stronger magic, so I can't go up there just yet. It's really cool how we're going to be able to get like magic and stuff like that later on as well. So that's super cool. I don't know if we're going to get it in this demo. I don't know. What's this? It's moving. What an earth is that? Why does it seem like everything around here is watching me? If I didn't know better, I'd say this storage box has eyes. I've got to be losing it. Oh no. Yeah, I think something weird is going on around here for sure. Wow, what an interesting place. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Ugh, on second thought, what a dump. I can't even get the door to open. What am I supposed to do now? Alright, this isn't the time to feel sorry for myself. I have to find somewhere to stay until I can get these doors open. Okay, can't we just, can we stay here? Oh, look, how weird. Even, like, the, the building itself has eyes. <laughs> That's super creepy. What's this? Press E. What are you doing? Oh, she, she's doing some farm work. <laughs> just randomly. Can I go inside? I don't seem to be able to go inside. I gotta go stay somewhere. Wasn't there a house over here to the right? Let's see if we can stay over here instead. We gotta find somewhere to sleep, right? It's getting really dark and stuff, so we better, we better hurry up. We better hurry up indeed. Can we go in here? Let's have a look. Of course it's locked. Oh no. Well, no use crying about it. Guess it's time to find a way in. Maybe there is a key or something around. Okay, so this is where I gotta go. Open says me. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> is there no key around here or anything? Let's have a look. Do they not just leave it under the under the the doormat <laughs> or in the flower pot? <laughs> Isn't that like the best place to look for for a key? <laughs> I feel like it could be, but I don't know. All right, where 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 could a key even be? I have no idea where to even look. If I'm being honest with you, there's nowhere even to look around here. Like, I don't really know. Shall we just like, just run around just spamming E or something? <laughs> I don't know where it wants me to go. Alright, let's just try, let's just try backtracking a little bit. Maybe there's somewhere we can go like back this way or something. Oh, wait, is this blocking me off? Oh no, it's fine. I can go back. Okay, cool. Let's go and look around then. I'm sure we'll find something. Hey, look, there's like a, a rucksack. That wasn't there before, was it? I don't remember it being there. Um, there's no way I missed this bag on my way up into the mansion. Yeah, there's someone here. This is creepy. This really is a little on the scary side, but I guess I'll look inside to see if there's anything useful. A note, some seeds, and a key. Okay, let me see what the note says. Hello and welcome to Murmur Town. We are so happy that you were able to make it safely. As you may have already found, the mansion is locked tight after its former owner up and left. It's had a bit of an attitude about newcomers. Well, the house itself. <laughs> oh god, the house is alive. In the meantime, the key in the bag we left will give you access to the local inn to the east of the Mullery Mansion. Oh, and since you're not doing much, you might consider planting those seeds in the bag to help prove yourself to the mansion. Good luck. I have to prove myself to a house. <laughs> okay. Okay, creepy lesser person. Whatever you say. All right. To summon your back press... To summon your backpack, press I or tab by pressing these buttons when the backpack is open. You can also dismiss it. Okay, so what's this? I have bat berry seeds. Wow, that's an interesting seeds. Are we going to be growing bats from it? Okay, I really love the theme for this game, I have to say. Okay, uh, how do I close it again? It doesn't seem to want to close. for some. Do I set it as active item? I think it already is. Okay. I don't know why it's not, it doesn't want to close. Wait, what does this one do? Oh, this is our spell pages. So this is where we learn like magic and stuff. I still can't click on one of these um, options though. I think I have to go through the tutorial. That's why it's not closing, I think. The first slot, the first slot of the inventory represents the current selected item. Okay. 
The active item will also be displayed on the backpack x-ray window on the bottom right of the screen. Okay, all right, yeah, like down here, so that makes sense. All right, let's go. Let's go and settle in. I'm a farmer now. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta plant some things. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Can I plant? Can I plant some things already? That would be kind of cool. Let's plant our seeds. There we are. There's the bat seeds. Wow, they actually like move up and down like a bat. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. I like it. Do you think I've proven myself to the to the house? <laughs> I like that I've got to prove myself to a house and not to like you know the townspeople or like a you know or like my grandpa or something. <laughs> it's like all the Harvest Moon games. It's like yeah, my grandpa always passes away or something, <laughs> and then I got to prove myself to the mayor. <laughs> not in this game. Yay! The key works. Thank goodness. Now time for some old fla fashion. Now time for some old fashioned sleeps. This has been one exhausting day. See you in the morning, Murmur Town. Okay, and there's our first day conquered. What a cute little game and town and I like it even though it's got a little bit of, you know, creepiness to it at the same time. I like the idea, it's quite interesting actually. All right, let's go see how our plants are doing. Do I, do I water them? Like how, how do I go about doing that? I don't know. I have no idea. I tried to, I tried to like click on them, but I can't seem to do anything. My quest log just says, what now? Can I, can I, can I click on this? Okay, he doesn't really, doesn't really say anything there. I don't have any more seeds, at least I don't think so. It seems that I got some like money as well. I got some currency. Can I do anything with these plants now, do you think? Oh yeah, I can pick these plants up. Maybe I can start growing these or something. That would be cool. I saw another one at like the top of this area as well. I'm just going to grab all of these little weird looking seeds. I have no idea, but I'm sure they'll be useful. I thought there was one at the top here, but maybe not. That's okay. All right, let's go plant them. That would be good. Let's look at my inventory. What are they? This is a chamomile and this is a golden seal. Aha. Uh -huh. I see. We should totally plant those, right? And make sure that we got lots of interesting plants growing. So that would be great. All right, here we go. I like how she doesn't even like have to do anything. She just claps her hands and things just grow. It's great. Um, So how do I do this? Set as active item and then can I plant it? For some reason, it doesn't seem to... It doesn't seem to work. I don't know why I can't, I can't plant these. I don't know why. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to use them for something else. I think maybe they're technically not seeds, they're like plants. So, so maybe you can't, I don't know. Maybe there's some villagers in the town now. Maybe I can go, oh look, there's a person. Hello person. Hi there. I didn't think anyone else was living here. My name is Sylvie, so nice to meet you. Okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> Is that you, Vivi? <laughs> um, hello? Do you speak? Are you the one who gave me the bag with the key and stuff? Did you send me the letter inviting me here? Cropper no give, but cropper sell. Oh, your name is Cropper. I guess it. Crop shop. Makes sense. So, um, you buy the things now magical... You buy the things, now magical one, yes? Buy the seeds, grow the things. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, all right then, so I got, do I have to go into the shop? Can I go in? I don't seem to be able to. Oh, I just buy it from you here? Oh, okay, I can buy these or these. Wait, what are these other seeds? Let's have a look. Shall we buy a couple? Let's see, I'm gonna buy 45, now I've got 100 left. All right, very nice. So now I can go off and plant those, right? Let's have a look. So these seeds are, let's have a look, garlic seeds. Interesting. I wonder what will grow from these things. <laughs> you never know what these plants are going to be. And I just, I find that quite interesting that you never know what's going to come out of these weird things. All right, let's plant them. I need to set them as active first. It's kind of annoying having to go into the menu each time to like plant them. What on earth are these things? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, do I not have any more? I thought I had some more, but I guess not. Do I not need to water these or anything? Do they just, like, do it on their own? I'm not oh, these are done! Oh, oh, hello! Oh my gosh, a banshee just came out! <laughs> that was really random. 
Hello, my apologies for startling you. My name is Banshee. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, hello. You're quite cute. Hi. You might want to consider not just appearing in someone's personal bubble if you don't want to scare them. <laughs> I shall take that under advisement. Anyway, I saw you've summoned a critter crop. I haven't met a mage capable of doing so in ages. That being said, I've got a proposal for you. Yeah, I'm listening. Should you care to sell your critters to me, I would be willing to part with gold for them. In addition, if you are able to harvest critter crops of higher rarities, I shall purchase them at a higher rate. Aha! Uh -huh. I like how the money is gold and it actually sounds like gold, but it's like ghoul and I just, I, I like that. That's, that's clever. <laughs> that's really cool. So, um, I have to uh, sell you critter crops, right? Okay. I, I, oh, it looks like maybe she's hungry. <laughs> I shall take up a post in town if you decide to accept my offer. Okay, that sounds like a like a cool idea. Gonna be able to do some things with these things. Look at these little guys. Oh, do they follow me? Oh, look, they're all following me. How cute is that? We got these little flying bat creatures. This game is very, very bizarre. <laughs> I have to say, I've never played anything quite like this. Why does this tree feel so familiar, like I've been here before? Why do I f suddenly feel so sad? Is there some like backstory here with this character, do you think? I don't know. Where is this lady? Where did she go? Oh, here she is. All right, there we go. Okay, to sell a critter to Banshee, click the checkbox on the bottom right hand corner of valid critter slots to mark the critter for sale. Check multiple creatures to sell more than one at a time. Okay, so we can sell these it said like in the corner oh yeah in this little corner here all right so we can sell all of these and get some money how much money is that i can't even see <laughs> is it meant to be like that <laughs> i don't know okay it looks like i just got i just got a nice amount of money so that's great that's fantastic can i go down there's like a little glowy thing down here what's this i got some random bush thing i don't know what these like little like random plant things are. I have no idea. I keep picking them up but I have no clue what they do. But that's okay. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. I think that there's still probably things to unlock in this game. Alright, is it bedtime? Do you think we should go to bed? I'm not sure. Oh, look! It looks like these critters have grown as well. Let's pluck these up too. Ah, little goal things. That's kind of cute. I like that. Maybe we should go and like buy some more and sell some more things off or something. I don't know. I don't know. Do do stores that stay open like all the time or something? Like I'm not t entirely sure. I guess they do. This lady's just here all the time. This is definitely the biggest shop in the square. And why put the service window on the side of the building? Must have gotten a lot. Must have gotten a lot of business. I hope I can make Murmur Town like that again. Oh, are we gonna? build this up again i was actually trying to talk to this lady so i could sell my my weird magic plants <laughs> that was what i was trying to do but i think she clicked on um the side of this building instead but that's okay yeah i wonder what was in that place like that is a big big building you're right it looks like you have the freedom to just buy things whenever you like which is kind of nice actually i like that we're gonna buy a hundreds worth of both plants here just because I can, so I'm going to. Thank you kindly for your purchase, magical one. Goodbye for now. Wait, wait, what do I do now? Plant the things, grow the, the things, sell the things to the magical mimic butler. The what? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, the what now? Observe. Oh, he's gonna show me something. Oh, what's happened? I hope hasn't crashed. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> All right, what's going on? What did you show me? I don't know what you showed me. Watch and observe, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what he was trying to tell me. I have no idea. It's okay. Uh, I know how to do it on my own anyway. So like, we're fine. When do we get to go into this house? Have I not proven myself yet? Guess not. It still doesn't want me to, to go in there, apparently. I want to go in that big, awesome mansion. That's going to be great. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to do some planting. So let's plant lots of things up here so we can make lots of money. That would be great. Not that I know what you use money for. 
because I have no idea right now, but I'm sure there's I'm sure there's something, right? I'm sure there's a there's something you can do. All right, so that's all those done, and now we got these ones to plant as well. They don't seem to take very long to plant, so like that's kind of cool, I guess. Can I not plant in in these? I don't seem to be able to to plant anymore. I don't. Why can't I plant in these in these plots? Why not? <laughs> I don't seem to be able to plan in any plot except for these ones. I don't know why. That's weird. Maybe I have to unlock the other ones or something. I'm not entirely sure. We should probably go to bed since it's night time. Though I don't think anything like really bad happens if you stay up when it's night time. I think like it's not it's not a big deal. All right. Progress to the next day. Yes. Let's do some sleeping. And we'll see what happens today. That would be nice. All right. It is morning. I love the little animation, like the stretching animation when she wakes up. That's really adorable. So cute. All right. Let's go see if our crops are done. I only just planted them, but you never know. Okay. Yeah, they're still not planted. Why can you not? It's just really annoying that I can't plant more. <laughs> that sucks. What am I supposed to do whilst I'm waiting? Is there something else I can do? I mean, I can go and pick up these glowy plants, but I don't really know what they do. So I have no idea. No clue right now. We need to, we need to learn how to do magic. Do you see that symbol? It kind of looks like a ghoul, doesn't it? Maybe you, you can like use the plants and like make them into spells or something i'm not too sure i have no idea all right so we got in all of the the things in this area i'm gonna go back into the plaza and see if like something is happening down there i think my seeds are growing so that's good let's see if anything like different is happening today since we moved the day forward a day something something different might be happening i don't know it says i gotta meet mr greaves where on earth is Mr. Greaves? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Let's have a look. Never seen a mimic that isn't bad before. Definitely need to see what that's about. Huh? I didn't even see a Mr. Greaves. Am I going crazy? I did wonder because that guy said he was going to show me something. He went, observe. And then nothing really happened. <laughs> like, I didn't know what this guy was saying. Who's Mr. Greaves? I'm confused. Am I missing something here? I feel like I am but I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what on earth. There's like no like, you know, markers telling you where to go either. So it's all just kind of find it yourself, I suppose. All right, let's, um, it looks like I'm getting some kind of like materials from all these things as well. So that's kind of cool. Can I not pick up any more? Can you only plant like a certain amount or something at once? It seems to be the case, doesn't it? I seem to only be able to have like a certain amount of like plants following me because I can't harvest anymore for for whatever reason so that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Do you think this thing is gonna do anything? Are you Mr. Greaves? You're Mr. Greaves? Oh you're Mr. Greaves. <laughs> Salutation young mage, welcome to Mullery Mansion. Thank you. What in the world? What are you? My apologies, I am known as Mr. Greaves. I am a mimic. I serve as the housekeeper and tradesman for the Mullery estate. It is so very nice to make your acquaintance. Oh, well, my name is Sylvie. Nice to meet you. Do you by any chance know how to get the mansion to open? It was gifted to me and I'd love to go inside. Unfortunately, the mansion must be persuaded to open its doors. I recommend you consider fixing up the town. This will show the mansion... This will show the mansion your intentions are pure and might help it to trust you. I have to say I've never, like, never played a game where I had to get a house to trust me. <laughs> it's very random, but I like the idea. Might I suggest starting with the shops in town? The diamond-shaped door would be well suited to a grimoire merchant, which you will need to slay the roots around town. What? The diamond-shaped door? Is that the big house? What's a Grimoire Merchant? Is that where I get spells? Okay, I'll start working on that straight away. Thank you so much. You're most welcome, young mage. Before you go, I also wanted to let you know that I can sell any items you might find to procure gold to make the repairs needed. Anyway, best of luck. So we're going to need lots of money to repair things in the town right that makes sense i suppose um so i have to go to the diamond shaped door which i think is down this way right because I, I saw this door and i thought it was weird oh so this is how much we need to fix this building right i get it now all right that makes a lot of sense okay so let's go sell these because i got like 
these random little things to sell off. So now we've sold those, we actually have enough to fix the door. So let's do that right now. There we go. Um, I'm going to fix it up and make it all shiny and sparkly. <laughs> I did it. I finally got enough gold to fix up this place. Time to go let Mr. Greaves know. Perhaps he can help me rebuild. I like that you can rebuild the whole town. That's really cool. It always like, gives you that sense of progression, which I absolutely love. So I approve of this idea. <laughs> Very cool indeed. All right. Well, what's happened to these? Did these, did these plants die? Oh no, I think some of my plants died or something. I'm not sure how. That sucks. Maybe if you leave them too long, they just die or something. Maybe they don't have very long lives or something. I don't know. Hello again, young mage. How may I be of assistance? I have a name, you know. My apologies, Sylvie. What can I do for you? That's okay. Anyway, I managed to get the gold you said you would need to fix up the old diamond door shop. Can you help me out with that? Of course, I already made the arrangements. I've also secured a grimoire shop named Magic Media to take up patronage there. Nice, so what happens now? Now you go forth and fix what you can around town, open the other areas and fix what you can there as well. Moving forward, you don't have to come see me after you've paid the cost. Funny thing, gold, it always finds its way. I will be sure to have repairs for the shops completed overnight, but you have to sleep before that can happen. Repair goblins won't come while you're out. Repair goblins? <laughs> I want to see those. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you open the residential area, I won't be able to fix up the houses there. We will need a specialty builder for those. Oh, as well as any upgrades to shops in the square will have to be made by a specialty builder. How do we get one of those? Anyway, thank you for your hard work and dedication. I foresee a great new feature. I, I foresee a great new future for Murmur Town in your hands. Oh yes, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, let's go. Maybe the crops died because they were like, fu like fully grown and it was like daytime. Maybe they just like melt in the sun or something. <laughs> I really don't know. I have no idea. It looks like I've got more places to fix in the town, right? I should go look for that. But let's get rid of these first. Let's get rid of those and get a little bit of money. That would be nice. So, so where can I actually fix? I'm sure there's more places for me to, to fix, right? Can I fix this? This looks like it has some pretty ornate carvings on the door behind the dirt and grime. I wonder what sort of wares warranted such a fancy door. I should really try to preserve it if I ever rebuild. Hmm, I don't seem to be able to rebuild that right now, but I'm sure there's something else. This is the biggest shop. Okay, I think I already read this one. You can still move while the dialogue's on there, but you can't really see what's behind the, the screen, I guess. Okay, uh, maybe we have to go to bed, because like we repaired the, the front of the shop, but I think we have to go to bed to see its full effects, right? So we should we should definitely do that. I kind of wish that there was a button to make my, ca my character move faster. She's really slow. <laughs> I really wish there was, but I don't think there is, unfortunately. I got some quests here to sell and a quest to whack weeds, apparently. <laughs> Whatever that means. I have no idea, but it's okay. I have to say this game is a little bit slow. I think the reason it feels slow is because of the, the movement of the character. I honestly feel that that is like the main thing that just makes it feel really slow like that. But that's just that's just my opinion anyways. All right, let's grow some crops. We got some lovely crops growing there, so that's great. Okay, let's go down into the town. I just want to see. Oh, look, we got Magic Media. They're open for business. Hello, welcome to Murmur Town. It's so nice to see another snake guy, a uh, person, another person here. <laughs> hey, a toot. Hey, a toots. Nice to meet ya. Name's Crux. Toots. Um, I'm Sylvie. I just wanted to say thank you for bringing your shop out to Mutter Island. I didn't expect to be able to get anyone out here. Yeah, see, my ma has a pretty big reputation that I'm trying to escape, so here I am. Looking to buy anything? You don't like the reputation? Oh, well, maybe that can wait. You look pretty tired from your travels and setup and stuff. I can come by tomorrow. You mean my peepers being half closed? Nah, see, I'm a gorgon. My ma was pretty big on that whole petrifying business, but I prefer keeping my head and keeping my customers flesh, not stone. Keeping the old eyes half closed, make sure it stays that way. Oh, okay. So that said, 
that old mimic what invited me here said that there was a witch needing a grimoire. Lucky for you, that's what he's got, right? Go ahead and pick one. All right, so maybe we can get this grimoire and then be able to open a new area or something. All right, what have we got? Book of the Exalted. Mages of the Exalted are blessed by the infinite power of the great sun. They are burdened by the duty of protecting those who would be touched by the light, the everlasting heroes of the magical wells. Bonds with this grimoire. Okay, so these are the spells we get. We get to summon a light wraith that rapidly zaps enemies with rays of light. Is there combat in this game? Shield yourself and your critters with a small sun. And we have this one which smites an enemy. How very interesting. It looks like there is going to be some kind of like combat here or something. I don't know. Uh, so what do I do? Oh wait, I can pick. Oh, we can pick different grimoires. So we can have like a holy grimoire. Or we can have... Whatever this is, it doesn't look very holy, does it? Okay, so this is forbidden magic. Oh god, this is dark, a dark grimoire. We can have a blood spear that uh, has a chance of, to cause a bleeding effect. This one is a shield. I think they more or less do the same thing. Oh god, a random critter is sacrificed to banish a random en enemy. That's a bit, that's a bit brutal. And we have this one, Tome of the Wild. It's like a nature kind of grimoire. So you can summon a viper. That's cool, you got summons on this one. Take life energy from an enemy. And we also have Windfall, which makes a vortex. So those are the the books that we can that we can do can you summon something with this one it's just like a blood spear it's a bit like a bit sad you can summon a light wraith with the holy one and you can summon a snake with this one but the the like blood one you can only summon like a blood spear i don't know i don't like that <laughs> i don't know which one i want i feel like this could be like a healer like you got like a healing spell here i don't know if it like works like that and then like I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna go for this one. I want the I want the holy one. Give me this one. Yeah, I got holy magic. Hooray! A grimoire with it. Sylvie is granted new magic, but also new burdens. The hearts shown here represent vitality, and the stars represent mana. Okay, these represent my usable spells, right? So be sure to keep an eye on mana usage, vitality, and cooldown times. Okay, wow, you're looking mighty fine sporting that grimoire. Solid choice. I thought the book looked pretty awesome, I have to say. Looked pretty sweet. Oh, before you go, a few things. One of them grimoires weren't exactly top quality, see? So the passive skills are lacking. Right now, it's got a page for pushing out Phoenix Fire, but that's about it. Ain't... Oh, he's he talks so strange it's hard to like read what he's saying sometimes on the upside i got more pages for sale but you're gonna need an oracle to do that magical bonding hoodoo that's the only way to get him to work good luck see you soon so i gotta find an oracle where do i where do i find an oracle for from that's the question what are my quests right now i gotta make some gold and i got to subdue the roots to the housing district go get new magic to uh you know get rid of the the roots i suppose i don't entirely know how to to do that right now all right let's go and get some critters and we're going to sell them for for gold i think that would be great i don't know what this is up here can i pick up this stuff i don't know what that stuff was but i'm gonna take it anyway we're gonna go and sell these things over to the ghoul lady i think that would be a good idea have a look what does this thing do oh critter details can you name them or anything these are just bat berries you can level them up oh you get the oh the essences that were dropping is to level them oh i see i see so you can just like have some as like little battle pets as well like you don't have to sell them all for money but right now i'm going to because i feel like you know we need the money more than anything else so that's the plan all right let's go back oh no they've died again they keep dying i'm not sure why i think i'm just being too slow i think i need to harvest them faster i think that's what's going on so that sucks a lot okay let's Let's, um, I don't know if I can do anything with um, these weeds yet. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I have the spell just yet, so that sucks. Maybe we'll just go to bed since it's like quite late, so let's go to bed for a little bit. 
see what happens on the new day that would be nice nice fresh start with a brand new day that's what i like to see <laughs> all right let's see what we can what we can do today that's the plan what does that do oh, okay it like makes it so it's not like covering the whole screen i suppose so like i don't really know is there like a shop here can i buy stuff from you now ah okay phoenix fire grimoire page Call upon the flames of the eternal phoenix. This will allow me to proceed, right? What's this? This is, I don't know, some kind of comedy book, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is a romance book, a graphic novel, a horror. Okay, random light novels. What are those for? I don't know. Can I buy this page? Let's buy the phoenix fire. I think I brought it, didn't I? Did I buy it? How do I, how do I check? let's have a look so in my page cost to commune but we need an oracle to get this to work right we need an oracle to actually learn it how do i f we need to find one <laughs> i don't know how to find an oracle though sadly maybe we'll find one soon or something oh it opened i did it wow these grimoires sure are powerful i'm really excited to to be embracing my magic and not running from it well, time to go explore what's beyond these roots then. Oh, I didn't even know this would work. I thought I had to get the oracle, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe we're fine. Maybe this is the way to the oracle. I have no idea, but we'll keep exploring and we shall see what happens. I'm intrigued for sure. Are you in here, crazy oracle lady? Let's go inside. Such a cozy looking place. I'd love to be able to fix it up and invite someone to live here. Oh yeah? Oh, maybe that's something for the future. I have no idea. Oh, this looks like a really nice house. I like this house. I'm pressing E, but... Oh, there you go. What strange architecture. It's a beautiful house, though. With some help, I bet I could get this set up for someone to move in. So we can just, like, uh, you know, fix up the houses and get, like, different townspeople to move in, I'm assuming. So that's gonna be... That's quite cool, actually. I like that. Is there anything back here? Nope, I think that's just their garden, I guess. Not too much going on back there then. All right, let's have a little look-see what's through here. This is such an extravagant house. Imagine how happy this would make someone after it's fixed up. Yeah, I'm sure it would make them super duper happy. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, I think we found the oracle. Oh yeah, what's this? A letter and the ink looks fresh. I don't get it. Why all the cloak and dagger? Why bring me here if this supposed benefactor was just going to play games? Fine, I'll play your mystery game for, for now, secret letter person. What do you have to say this time? What's this secret letter person? <laughs> Again, I wonder what they want. I wonder if they're a cat or something. Do they look kind of like a cat? <laughs> Hello again, Sylvie. It seems you've finally begun to embrace your magical gifts. Now I share a piece of the puzzle. The kin of magic have long hidden from the world of man. However, it was not always that way. Long ago, Masa Island became a sanctuary for those whom the world would reject for their magic and abilities. So this was like Witch Island. <laughs> Before you stands the Memorium of Umbra, the Witch of Wisdom. She once provided aid to the kings and queens of non-magic folk by way of magical insight into the future and its possibilities. She was kind, loved by all, and genius. However, her abilities grew and struck fear in the hearts of man, and like you, that fear brought fire and persecution upon her. So very sad. The witches just want to want to be free. <laughs> they just want to use their magic for good. I'm sure there's bad witches though. Umbra has always known only love. Let Umbra bring you strength and attune your grimoire to the magical plane. Until next we speak. Okay, so we just got some like random like knowledge on like history, I guess, on the town or something. I don't know. All right, I got my page. I got, can I attune this? I don't know what this does. We just did, we just did something. <laughs> I have no idea what I did, but all right then. We did a thing, we did a thing, nice. So we can attune our paper here. We can attune bits of paper or something. I don't really know. I don't really know what I just did. But okay then. What do I do now? I'm not too sure. It says I gotta repair the shop at the end of the strip. So it looks like I gotta do some more repair work. Oh, here. Is this what I meant to fix? Fix this building? Oh, I need 400. Okay, at least I know what I'm meant to be fixing up now. It looks like a cat sign or something, doesn't it? 
<laughs> very strange, but okay. Very, very interesting. We're gonna have to make a little bit of extra dough here. So I'm gonna have to sell some more stuff, right? All right, let's make some gold then. Since we made, we need to make like 400 for like to fix up the next like part of the village. So let's try and do that. I think I do have some stuff to plant here. So let's see what we can do. At least I think I do. Do I? I don't know. Oh, actually, I don't think I do. I need to go buy some from the shop. I'm not sure if I should just, like, go to bed and just, like, call it a day or something since it's, like, really dark right now. I think the shops just stay open, though, so I think it's okay. All right, let's buy a couple of each. Then I'll just buy, like, a hundred of each of each seed. I think that would be really good. I need to make up the dough. I need to definitely get some lovely money together. That would be fantastic. Let's try our best. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll get there. All right, so let's plant up some things. Maybe I should just plant it all because we're going to be selling it all. So like, yeah, that might be an idea. Okay, so let's set this as active. I'm really curious about what you do with the plants. I still haven't quite worked out what you're meant to do with those at the moment. I am not sure. All right, let's plant these. All right, now we're gonna go to bed. I mean, it's starting to get light already. <laughs> we should probably like go to bed for sure. So that would be an idea. I feel like there's a little flower down here too. I'll grab those. I'm really curious about them. I really hope that we get to find out what you do with that, but I don't know. All right, let's sleep. And hopefully when we wake up, our crops will be done and we will be able to, you know, just kind of sell those. That would be great. And then we can fix everything up. That would be awesome. All right, what's down here? Let's grab this too. Some little, little bush thing. So that's nice. All right, how much longer? For these i wonder it can't be much longer right i don't know does this thing say anything just kind of curious grieve sales sale price oh you can sell stuff to him can i sell these things maybe you're just meant to sell them i actually don't know what these do but like i don't seem to have a use for them right now so i'm just gonna they don't sell for much but I'm just gonna sell them anyway because I don't know what else to do with them. So why not? I made a bit of money, so that's good. Are these done? It looks like they're close. If not, they're, they're really close, man. We just gotta wait a tiny bit further. I have to say, this girl's footsteps are really loud. She's like a giant or something. <laughs> I guess I just gotta like wait now, just twiddle my thumbs until these things are, are ready. I don't, I don't think I have anything else to do whilst I'm waiting. I think like that's sort of like the problem as well, is that like, you know, sometimes you're just like waiting around, <laughs> waiting for these plants to grow. There's not like really that much to do. But then again, this is only a demo. So like they might have more plans for when the game fully releases or something i don't know this is just a taste right i do think it's very simple though it's a very simple game definitely but i do like the idea and i like the theme for it as well oh there we go i think these just finished growing so that's awesome let's see if these are done these must be really close as well right I don't know how close entirely. Oh, here we go. Let's get these up as well. All right, so we, we got these done. We'll have to go and run and sell these. It's a bit annoying having to run backwards and forwards to like the vendor to sell stuff. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's all right. It could be worse, I guess. All right, so time to sell our critters. There we go. At least you get a nice bit of money for selling them. You do really do get a really nice amount of money. Now we'll go back and we'll get the rest. I mean, I don't think these things are going to die by the time we get back, right? It's only been like two seconds. They should be fine. Should be able to pick up like four of these, I think. I think you can only take four of them at a time. You can tell some of them are like rarer than others. Some of them have like a blue gl glow around them. That one has a gold glow. I wonder if that means it's going to sell for like super money or something. <laughs> Crazy money. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it does. A lot of money. That's a lot of money. Wow, I must have got lucky or something. Look at that. We got 600 already. So we can already go and fix up this this thing so that's great actually i'm wondering maybe i could have just like sold this thing at the treasure chest maybe i could have done that i don't know could i have just sold it here instead of walking all the way 
Like, I don't, oh no, you can't. So these ones you can't, but you can sell him like seeds and like random plants and stuff like that that you found find around. But the actual critters themselves, it looks like you actually like need to bring them all the way to that, that ghoul lady or something. I don't know if I should sell this guy or if I should just keep him with me. I'm just going to keep him with me for now. Just like, why not? We're going to go, uh, oh, I need to walk past that way anyway. I thought it was this way I had to go. But nope, I don't think so. We gotta go down to the, the bottom area so that we can fix up this house. So I'm going to try my best with that, actually. Move out of my way, I'm a witch on a mission. <laughs> I got places to go, friends to meet. Okay, I guess we'll sell this little guy on the way past then. There we go, we only got like 40, 40 coins for it. So it really wasn't that much, but that's okay. I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck on the, the lamppost. I like all the little kitty, like Halloween, like lampposts and lights all around. I think they're super cute. It must be kitty themed. There's a lot of cat things around. All right, we fixed that. So that's good. I got daily tasks now. Oh, time to replenish the old. Oh, is this what those plants were for? <laughs> Golden seal plants, a bat berry, and then you get like all these tasks here. How do I pick them up? How do I accept them? That's the que the question. Maybe I just go and get what it needs or something. I'm not really sure. I have no idea. Ooh, I found some paper on the beach. What does this do? It says songs of the mermaids. I wonder if mermaids are real. Maybe they used to visit this cove. I'd sure love to see one. Ooh, do you think? Do you think so? <laughs> is there like something, something I can do here? I don't know. Maybe this page is for, maybe it's for the other, um, there's like another vine that's in the way. Perhaps this is what we need to like get past that one or something. I'm not too sure. I guess I would have to go to the magic shop to see if there's like anything I can do over there. I'm not too sure but there's a nice little beach area right at the bottom that I completely missed so that's handy I suppose. Oh here fix this building. I need 500 to fix this one. Maybe this is what I was supposed to do. I don't know. I'm like getting a bit confused. I've just been looking around to see if I can like find some stuff. I did look on the magic shop, but it just has the Phoenix spell. I'm not sure if that's like the same spell or not. I don't know. It's night time though. So I'm going to, I'm going to like just call it here. Call it, call it a day. Have a little sleep. So then it's not so dark and I can see just a little bit better. That would be nice. I kind of want to see if anything happens up here. I reckon maybe we can get past that. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do something with the magic shop there. There was something on the pages. I, I didn't, I, I like wasn't sure if it was like a new thing or not. I'm not too sure, but I guess I could try it out. It wouldn't hurt too much. All right, going to plant up some stuff because we need to make... 500 coins to fix up the shop. I think I kind of fixed the wrong thing, but it doesn't matter because like you can get some, there's like daily quests there, I suppose. We're just going to leave those to it for a second and I'm just going to go down to this magic shop to see if there's anything I can do down here. See this thing here? I'm just wondering if this does anything. A phoenix fire? Can I, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't have enough coins. <laughs> Damn, I can't do it even if I wanted to. All right, I guess I'll have to wait for these stupid plants to grow again. Like, <laughs> just a wasting game again. It takes too long for these plants to grow. <laughs> it's just like a pain in the butt waiting for them to grow. Oh, there we go. They finally grown. Took most of the day to wait for these things to grow, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, there we are. Looks like I only got one sort of like new kind of bat, like not new bat, but like a glowy bat. Only got one like rare one, I guess. So that's a little bit sad, but never mind. All right, let's sell these. I'm not going to get too much money from those, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, we're going to buy this, this Phoenix thing. Apparently I can't. I swear, you know, I thought I already had one. Maybe I just have to commune it at the, the like shrine or something. I think I have to do something at the like the oracle thing. Maybe that's what I'm meant to do. I don't know. We need money anyway because we need it to fix up this shop. So we'll just keep going. Apparently I'm not lucky today. No lucky crops this time. So that sucks. <laughs> but never mind. It's okay. I just wish there was a run button. I wish I could move faster. 
I really do. Only 20 for these, so not much money at all. Sadly, I'm going to have to go buy some more seeds and start the whole process again, I suppose. But that's okay. I think I just saw another page down there as well. All right, we're just going to do what I did before. Just 100 of each seed because that's how I roll. I just, I just get 10 of each. That's fine. See, there's another page here. Let's grab this one. A love story. Page three. I love to look upon him beside the whispering willow. The light of the soul candles shine through his golden hair. This place will forever remain a part of me. Please forgive me for what I must do. This sure seems sad. I wonder what she had to do. You probably don't want to find out, if I'm being honest. It's probably not something you want to know. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. What does this do? Research no novels. Guide to crafting soul summoning spice. Used to promote growth of a certain... Of a certain what? Of a certain crop? I don't know. And this is Wolfsbane. Guide to crafting the Wolfsbane water. Used to promote growth of certain crops interesting i don't know if there's something that i can do right now i'm unsure i have no idea anyways let's go and plant these crops that would be great because we're gonna need to make a bit more money of course and these things take a while so let's just get them all planted up that would be great okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna do these ones for now the little ghoul ones that would be great and we're just gonna leave those to it well bedtime today is a new day let's hope that my my crops are like all done and everything so let's go see so then we can make a little bit of money that would be great but I suppose we'll see. All right, yeah, they're all done. Happy times, let's get some stuff. There we are, no rare ones, so we're gonna get the standard fare for these, unfortunately. I wish that we managed to get a few more rarities, but sometimes you just don't get lucky, right? Okay, 160 for those. I need to go and grab the rest because there's still a couple more up there. So we need to go and grab those as well. Lots of walking backwards and forwards in this game. Lots of that. All right, let's see. Any nice rare ones up here or anything? Oh, I got a blue one. Yeah, we got a blue one. So that's going to like get us a little bit of money. So that's great. Let's do this. I'm sure that we can make a little bit over here. Here, so that'll be really good. Maybe we'll get enough from this batch. Perhaps we'll see. Let's see how much I get. 500 and we needed five. Yeah, there you go. Fix this up. Did I fix it? My money went. Oh, I think I have to wait a day, don't I? I think I have to wait till tomorrow to see like what actually happens when you fix this thing up, I suppose. All right, is there any more? I think I left like one down here. So let's grab this one as well. There it is. And we're just going to keep planting just because we might need money for something else. So, so let's just keep this up and these things take a while as well. I still have like 10 of these bat berries. So let's plant, plant these up. That would be great, actually. Is that all planted? No? What happened there? I don't know. Apparently, I got a ghoul thing planted. I don't know. I don't even remember having an extra one of those, <laughs> but maybe I did. I don't know. All right, they're all planted and everything. I guess we'll go... Shall we go sell this thing? Yeah, let's go sell this thing quickly, and then I guess we'll go to bed and see, like what's happened with this like upgrade so let's see what that actually does maybe we'll get like an extra shop or something i have no idea i've only got 65 coins left right now so very very poor but that's okay we're about to hit the hay so hopefully that will speed up the crop growth as well so that will be really good let's go to bed i don't know what these apples mean up here i'm not too sure and is there combat in this game I know things have been rough, but it's the middle of the day. Not time to loaf about. Are you kidding? Ah, oh, I guess I can't go to bed yet. <laughs> I didn't know that there was like a limit to like when you could go to bed. I guess there is. I don't know. I guess I'll just look around for stuff then, I suppose. Little bushes and I'll just take these random little bits and pieces. I don't know what for, but I'm just going to grab them anyway. It looks like some of the daily tasks are used for this stuff as well. Let's see. Yeah, I still I still can't get past those roots just yet. Sadly, um, there's a lot of waiting around with this game, which is unfortunate. I feel like the pacing needs to be a little faster. 
Well, at least for me anyways. Well, my crops are done, so I guess I'll go sell some more crops. Hey, I got a purple one. I reckon we're going to get tons of money from that one, right? So that's going to be great. I don't really know what else you can fix up in the town, though. That's the only thing. I have no idea, but maybe we'll need some extra funds. You never know. Let's sell all of these things. I got 120 for those. Not too bad, I suppose. I was actually half expecting that rare one to give me a little extra extra but never mind like well he did but I was expecting him to give a lot more than what he gave but that's okay what else we got let's have a look we got another glowy one there just one glowy one backwards and forwards oh my gosh <laughs> it's okay though let's turn these in and grab even more money that would be great it's cool that we get to have all these different magical spells though all these down here how do you use them number three ah so that's number how you use them okay and then there's my shield and then number one is i don't know some kind of board of light that follows me oh that's my that's my light wraith isn't it there must be combat in this game there must be why would you have spells like that otherwise you know so they mu there must be somewhere i just like haven't found it yet i guess <laughs> i don't know I'm not too sure. I'm kind of curious about about that because otherwise why would they give you spells? It wouldn't make sense, right? So I'm not too sure. All right, let's uh, sell this one. All my plants have been sold now, so... Okay, I think we should definitely put our character to bed now. It's very, very late, right? So we should definitely do that. That would be good. I don't have any more plants left either. I reckon we should be able to get through those vines at the top of the, the map somehow. I just haven't quite worked out how to do that yet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's a way. Ah, there we go. Nice and bright, sunny and awesome. So that's great. I'm wondering if there'll be like another thing to to fix up now that we've like done that bit like i'm wondering because like it looked like there was a bit more that could do with fixing right i don't know if it just happens over time oh look how cute this little girl is hello what do you do hello there welcome to murmur town my name is sylvie greetings i'm dot and this is die book demolition i'm very excited to be here and to be able to offer some help in making this island a better place you are cute you can come to me with any advanced construction needs that you may need that you may have and me and the other die book will be happy to get the job done Oh, I almost forgot. We also brought along a kiosk for the social media tool everyone uses over in the other world. Don't ask me how it works, but everyone says it uses some spider creatures interwebs or something. Okay, it's over in the residential area, so feel free to check it out whenever. Oh, okay. What is going on here? All right, magic media. Next upgrade unlocks all of these things and... Okay, so like you unlock like more parts, but you obviously need a bit of money to do it. Let's see. There's a lot of things here. Banshee and Beyond increase the sales plus 3% sales in the box. Okay, it just does like little stat improvements. So that's cool. Additional shop upgrade capabilities. Unlock Goyle's craft house and create your favorite items. I don't even think we have this. Ooh, intriguing. Okay, let's see. What's my quest? The craft house. Unlock Goyle's craft house. Ah, so that's what I meant to do for the storyline. That makes sense because I, I did say I didn't I didn't see that one. <laughs> so it makes a whole ton of sense that you're meant to to do that, I suppose. All right. Okay. It looks like I'm I need to make a little bit more money. I actually don't need that much. I already have 265. So we don't need that much, but I suppose it's time to get planting again, I guess. I don't know what else there is to like really do. I don't think there is anything else to do. So I'm just going to plant up some more things and wait for them to grow and get this money for this new shop. We're going to build up the town and it's going to be glorious. It's going to be awesome, right? I wonder if we'll actually get to go into that house in the demo. Do you think the demo would just stop like as soon as you get access to that mansion? Like I'm wondering. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's have a look. Let's plant up all these things. Lovely. Now it's just going to be a waiting game. So so we've now fully planted them. Time to wait for them to grow. I'm just going to twiddle my thumbs until they grow basically now. 
All right, looks like the next batch of things have just finished like um, growing, so that's cool. We're gonna go sell these. I was just, I was just eating pizza. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> it was good. It was delicious. Very nice indeed. Okay, so um, I clicked on the wrong thing. Actually, I just need to sell, sell these things here. All right, get some money. These unfortunately are not gonna get us too much, but we're just gonna keep doing the rounds. I guess we'll just, I'll just whiz forward and we'll just come back when we have the money for the, the property itself. Okay, we're about to sell these ghouls and this should give us the funds we need to unlock ghouls or whatever it's called. This craft shop or something. The shop is currently undergoing construction. Be sure to sleep in the evening to allow the night goblins to work without disruption. All right, so we just got to wait. A lot of waiting in this game for sure. I don't really have anything to do whilst I wait either. And I think like that's that's the annoying part. I don't know. I'm just going to hang around and just wait for night time, I guess. I don't know. Okay, finally time for bed. Let's see them set up this shop today. Hopefully the night goblins have done their job. That would be great, but we'll see. Looks like the only other quest I've got is called sell, sell, sell. And I just have to sell some stuff to, to Greaves. I swear I've sold stuff to Greaves before, which is very bizarre. But I guess I could just like go and check that out quickly just to see like what's going on. Maybe just sell him just some random thing. There you go. Does that, did that do my quest? Uh, that did my quest. Okay, now I have like no quest. It's like showing up. It's showing up there, but I've, I've done it. <laughs> At least I think so. Does that mean I've done everything? <laughs> like I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like this has like an end point, but I'm not too sure. All right, hello. Good day, young witch. Might I interest you in crafting some goods? Uh, sure. I'll give it. A, uh, give. I'll give it a try. So now we can craft. Ooh, we can craft soul spice, wolf spain, water. I need some more components because I, I kind of like been selling some. So <laughs> there is that. I guess these speed up. These speed up the respective plant. So like, I'm guessing the wolf spain would speed up the bat crops, and the soul spice would would speed up the the other crop. You know, the the ghoul crops. I guess that makes sense. I guess I could craft one of these just to see what happens, but yeah, I got a um, wolf spain. We got some wolf spain here, but like, I didn't get any more quests or anything, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's done. I just wanted to see what would happen if I crafted one, but not much happened, <laughs> I have to say. Wait, why is my money on minus 175? How did I get on minus? Moving along a little bit, I've actually gotten most of the upgrades uh, for the town. Not all of them, but most of them. I seem to be stuck behind like story progression or something. I didn't think that there was more story, but maybe there is. I don't really know. I'm not sure how much we can like do like in the demo. I don't know, but um, if we have a look over here, it says progress further in the story to unlock additional rank up upgrades. And it says this on almost all of them, except for this one, but you need demolition rank five uh, to upgrade this. And I can't progress uh, anymore because I need to progress further in the story. So I I don't know if there's any more I can upgrade here, but because I have upgraded everything, um, like it doesn't actually affect the outward appearance of the shops. It just gives you like some status effects and there are actually some more seeds in the crop shop, which I haven't planted yet. So we'll check that out too. We also do have these residents to upgrade. I got this like cottage style manor. I guess like when you upgrade them, you'll get like different different like villagers visiting or something. I've already noticed a couple of different villagers in the in the like the plaza like just visiting and stuff which is cool. Like this dude here just randomly visiting and just sees some like random dudes around which is pretty cool. See there are some new seeds here which I haven't planted. Um, I don't know why I'm not able to adjust how many things I buy so I'm having to do it one at a time right now. I don't know why I think it's some kind of bug or something so that's kind of annoying because I have to like individually buy each one which is a pain in the butt. I literally have no idea what these 
these plants are. I'm, just, I'm gonna buy some and we're gonna find out. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But yeah, all these new plants here because I upgraded um, the shop. So lots more choice, which is really cool. Um, on Gabe's place or Goyle's place, I don't know what it's called. I don't know. <laughs> we have this soul spice and the wolfsbane water. I don't seem to be able to use them. I can't work out how to use those. I don't know. And on here, there's actually a new page, um, but it's not letting me buy it because I think I need this blood totem and I don't know. I, I don't know where you get it. I'm not too sure. It's kind of, kind of strange. I don't seem to be able to buy any of these. Oh wait, if I buy this, I can research it. It's only 200 and I don't know why it won't let me buy it. I literally have no idea why I can't buy it. I've got enough money. It's strange. Maybe I should try reloading the game or something. Okay, I reloaded it. Uh, let's see. So now I can actually buy stuff so it was bugged out. Um, so what we need is this book. Oops, this book? Yeah, this book here. Because that will get us the, the tome. Did I buy it? I hope I did. <laughs> I don't know. Does that mean I can now craft it or something? Like... Oh, it's, it's in here. New craft recipe. Teach Ghoul the recipe for blood totem. Yes. Oh, now I can craft it? I just need some of this red herb thing. Wherever you get that from. I don't know. <laughs> but that's cool. Uh, the, for some reason, the little... The little research thing is gone. I don't know why. It's very strange. I have no idea. Uh, I just have to go on the hunt for those then, I guess. Do I have stuff planted? I really should plant some stuff. <laughs> I really should do that, actually, because it takes a really long time to get stuff planted. Oh, we got these new seeds as well, so we're going to try them. So we're going to try... These are mushroom seeds. Interesting. Let's plant these up. we got, like, little mushroom little things. Very cool. Wish I had more planting space, if I'm being honest, but... It's okay. And these are strawberry seeds. Okay, let's plant some of these as well. And we also have room for some pump kitty seeds. Aw, that sounds really cute. I can't wait to see what these look like when they're grown. <laughs> I bet they're look gonna, gonna look really adorable, right? Okay, so that is the thing I need for the craft, right? At least I think so. I'm just gonna look around. Well, at least we know that these things are like what these things are for now because I didn't really have a clue what they were for at first, so it's nice to, to know. All right, we've got a little thing there as well. All right, let's go down and see if we can do some crafting. I can't go too far away from my crops, of course, so I don't want them to, to go rotten, because they go rotten very quickly in this game, so you kind of need to stick around. You can't go too far. Right, so this thing, I can now craft one. Very nice. And there we go. For some reason, every time I craft something, I go into the minus. I swear I had enough money, so it's really bizarre. I don't know, but we got one of these blood totems now, so that's really cool. We just need to get the page as well, but obviously I'm, I'm like, broke now. I got, like, no money. I think that going into the negative is what is bugged out my, uh, my crops, because you can, like, obviously select how many crops you can buy, but for some, but ever since I went into the negative, like, when I first crafted something, it's, like, bugged me out in that way so it's kind of annoying <laughs> but it's okay so the mushrooms have growed, uh, grown to the second stage now we just gotta wait for the final stage however long that takes that's the that's the only problem i guess okay i think they're done oh wow they're like mummified mushrooms that's interesting i like that all right let's pick them up and we're gonna go sell them hopefully they give us uh, a good amount of money at least i'm hoping so just so that we can well i kind of well i need to buy this page so that we can craft that and i also wouldn't mind getting some of those houses as well just to see like what they actually do i suppose they sell for a decent amount that's not bad. I managed to get myself out of debt, <laughs> so that's good. I can't believe you can go in, like into debt in this game. You would never think it, but apparently that is a thing that happens, so need to beware, I guess. It's kind of bad. All right, we're going to plant up some more things, of course. That would be great. All right, there you go. Plant up all those. What else do we have? We also have... Where, where to melon seeds? Ooh, interesting. Very interesting sounding seeds. That one's, was that, wait, did that die? That can't have died. 
Did that die? That really died. Something just died. I don't know what it was. And we got some creepy ghost strawberries. Very creepy indeed. <laughs> Let's see how much money we get. Hopefully we get like a decent amount of money now because like these are higher quality crops as well. Wow. Yeah, you can really make a, a nice amount there. I'm already on a thousand from all that. So that's super cool. I mean, those ones were pretty expensive if I remember. So it's cool that, you know, they, they give a lot of money. So... That's great, that's great. Okay, is there any other, can I, do I have any more seeds? Let's have a look. Oh, okay, I think we're, we're out of seeds now, I think. All right, let's go and buy this page. We now have enough money to go and buy this, like, page thing. So let's do that. And then, um, I guess we're going to head down to the Oracle. So we need this one here, Hellfire. I think I got it now, right? I think I brought it. I don't know where it went. It went here. Okay, so let's go down to the Oracle. It's uh, actually, wait, I think we should probably wait for our crops first. Because if I go down to the Oracle, these things are going to go rotten. And I don't want that to happen. That's the only annoying thing. I guess we could go to bed and... Um yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Let's go to bed. That seems like a like a good idea, actually. Seems like a great idea. Alright, sleepy time. Ah. Oh. Oh no, it's crashed. It's This is the second time this has happened now, it's crashed. Hope I didn't lose too much progress there. Okay, these plants have just grown. I did lose a little bit of progress, so, so I had to... I had to go back a bit. What happened to all those cats? Why did only one come out? What just happened there? I literally have no idea what happened to the others. Did they just like not make it or something? I have no clue, but apparently only one kitty came out of all of those. And I literally pulled them up instantly as well. So they can't have gone rotten, can they? I don't really know. I have no idea. <laughs> it's so confusing. Let me just see if I've got the Echinicia and Barberries. So do I have those? Let's see. Yes, I've got that one. Do I have Barberries? Yes. Yes and yes. So do I just need one? Uh, yeah, I think I can actually go and do this one. There's no point in me going all the way down there only to realize I can't do it. Okay, these crops seem to have grown. What on earth are they? I don't know. They look interesting. Let's pull them up if I can. I don't seem to be able to. Are they not done? They look done, don't they? Maybe they're not quite done yet. Okay, I guess I'll have to leave them a little bit longer. They take so long and it's like, if I go away, then they're gonna, like, go rotten. It's so frustrating. It's really annoying. It's like I have to babysit them. It's the worst. <laughs> Hurry up and grow, man. Hurry up and grow. Oh, hold on. They look a bit different. Okay, are they done? Oh, they're like zombie kitties or something. Very interesting looking, I have to say. They look, uh, yeah, the creatures, I mean, they look kind of creepy, but cute at the same time. I don't know, I like, I like their designs. I like the designs of the little creatures in this game. Quite nice. All right, let's sell all of those. All right, I've got 800 now. All right, we're going to, since we've got nothing planted right now, and I don't have to worry about anything like going rotten or anything, I've finally gotten to the point where I can go down and maybe go to the Oracle. Let's save it because this game has a habit of like dying on me. <laughs> like this demo like needs work. It definitely does. All right, so this is the board. Apparently, I still don't have anything for, for those quests over there. This is new. What's this? Oh, this is like a like a Twitter kind of thing from like all the all the people. So like that's kind of cool. I'd always wondered about this tree. The mimic says it was once known as the Soul Tree. Ooh, so it's my home. I got notifications. Your friend Ezekiel posted a new status. Okay, it's just telling me about everybody who's um been posting. Kaya, who's this? A recent post, a gift. I can gift him stuff. Oh my gosh, you can gift him like pumpkin pie. Does that mean they're going to implement cooking? Looks like you can make strawberry umbrellas, werewolf writers. Look at all this stuff. This is really interesting. It looks like there's going to be some kind of delivery feature where you can gift the ghosts and maybe become their friends or something i don't really know very interesting there's quite a few people i've seen this one i've seen this character in the town sometimes i think these are the people that visit your town sometimes so, so that's very very interesting maybe they don't move in officially until you've brought their their houses or something i'm not too sure 
Okay, let's go down to the Oracle and see if there's something we can do there. I still have to purchase the houses. I haven't quite done that yet. Hello, dude. Oh, you're just decoration. Can't I can't interact with you or anything right now. Well, maybe you move in later or something. I don't know. There's the Spidey character as well. Seeing a lot more characters around here. Okay, so we want to commune with this thing, right? Um... I think it's this one is it this one barberry i think it was this one and i think it was this one too and of course this thing let's hope i did this right i hope so did i do it right i don't know was it was did i do it i don't know i think i used these two it should be right but i literally have no idea like where where did it go <laughs> I don't know what happened. I have no idea if that was right or not. Like, it just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll go and check. We're going to go up by the by the vines and check if, like, we got the spell for it. Well, that was a walk. All right. Do we have the spell? Hey, it worked. <laughs> I can't believe it. I finally opens up all of Murmur Town. It's odd, though. I've got this horrible feeling like there's something beyond the town. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but it's time to be brave. I want to know the truth. I want to see the world beyond. Oh my gosh, what does this mean? We should probably save it, right? I don't know. What's beyond here? Oh gosh, where am I? I don't know. <laughs> we found some mysterious location. I see. Very intriguing. What is this thing? Let's find out. Okay, um, I think this is, look, it's the same symbol. I think I need whatever, I think I might need some critters to, um, to come with me. So, I think I'm going to need to, uh, go back and, like, I don't know, get that creature or something. So we should, we should totally do that and see what, like, happens if we do have the, the creature on me. The only annoying thing is that I don't have, like... I don't have anything to like I can't go to bed because it like it crashes my game <laughs> like I don't think that's possible for me anymore it's super annoying it sucks but it's just the way it goes I guess all right let's plant up some stuff here I'm just gonna plant up this whole field I guess I'm just gonna wait for for stuff to grow again which is annoying I always seem to be wasting around in this game which sucks well, some of my plants died because I wasn't quick enough, but I managed to get a bat and a kitty, so we're going to go ahead with these guys. I don't know how long they last after they've been harvested. Maybe they just last forever. I'm not really sure, but let's see what happens now that we have these, you know, little buddies. So let's see. Hopefully something good will happen. I don't know. It's so shiny, isn't it? What do you think? Let's press this. It's not doing anything. <laughs> I thought it would do something. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Well, let's explore like just around or something and just see if anything else happens. Well, oh, the bat one. Oh, okay. Good job I got the bat. <laughs> well, the bat worked, so that's good. I don't know why the other symbol didn't work. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that was the right creature. Unless I got the wrong one or something. I don't know. What's this? There's like a big gateway, like, I I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to have something? Look like there was a symbol on the front of the door, doesn't it? It really does, but I don't know what it means. I'm not too sure. Very peculiar, very peculiar. I don't know. <laughs> Can't seem to work this one out. It's very strange. Alright, is there anything else? I guess we could just go back over, I guess see if there's anything else around here go over this bridge perhaps there's something over here yeah there's like all these little symbols what do these mean you can't even interact with it so i don't i don't entirely know what it wants me to do that i don't know if that's been put into the game yet i'm not too sure i don't seem to have an option on that regardless so, so no idea all right so we got some kind of oh do i have to go to these like little stone oh yeah i see there's like a little stone thing all right okay can i how do i do i have to go down to the bottom bit and then use it <laughs> this game's a bit confusing how do i use this one why can't i use this one where's my little buddies gone little dudes where'd you gone you can level these guys up and give them nicknames and everything i just never bothered i don't know why my little dudes have vanished uh, maybe they need to be down here and they've just kind of vacated. 
Are they stuck? Can they not get across the bridge or something? Is that a thing? Oh, can they not do that? Hold on a sec. Let's see if they follow me down here or something. Let's see if this guy... I don't know why this doesn't work. It really looks like those. It really looks like that, but I don't know why it doesn't work. Strange. Really weird. And I don't know why I can't get them to come across the bridge. Oh, there you go. I think the pathing for the creatures in this game is probably not the best. <laughs> well, let's try this because last time the bat did work. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping that I ma now I managed to get him over that it will work or something. Let's try. I'm just going to try from, from here or something. Oh, pressy. Oh, there you go. All right, that one's working. That's good. Now to just get this one working. Oh, there you go. It worked. Hey. I don't know. I think that was right. So that's one of the like... There's like a kitty thing up there too. What does that do? I don't know. Can I go up there? I have no idea. How do I... I don't seem to be able to. Okay, so I gotta find these stone things, right? And that will unlock the doors, I think. I don't know which one that did. I have no idea, but I think it like lights them up or something, <laughs> something like that. Let's see if there's like any more across this way or something. We'll have to, we'll have to see. Let's look around or something up this way. Did this light this up or something? I don't know which one it lit up. I have no idea, but yeah, I don't seem to be getting too much progress <laughs> with these things. There's another one down there. I see another little stone pillar down that way. So I've got to go and get that one as well. I just don't know how to light that one up at the bottom. It doesn't seem to want to work for me, and I'm not sure why. It worked when I was over on the right. There must be a way of getting this to work. Maybe I'm not standing in the right position. Maybe it's just glitched out. I have a feeling this is supposed to work. See, this is one of the pillars. I think this is supposed to work. It worked on the other one, but just not this one. I think there's, um, I think this demo has issues. <laughs> that really, really sucks a lot. They're exactly the same symbol, aren't they? 100% they are. But that one worked and this one didn't. I'm sad. I wanted to do it. I wanted to see what would happen. But it just doesn't respond. It's just, yeah, I think it just needs work. And I think, like, you probably need this to work. If this worked, it probably would open up another, like, section. And then you could probably go further. But because it doesn't work... I'm getting the feeling that this is probably the most progress we're going to get for this game. I don't see us being able to make much more progress than this. There's another one over there, see, but I don't think I can get to it. So that sucks. Hmm. I could try, like, growing another one and seeing if that, like, unglitches it or something. Um... And I probably, I could try and like, um, getting one of the houses and seeing like what that gives to the game and seeing like what, what that does. Perhaps that would be an idea. I might try that. Um, that's really the only things that I can think of, uh, for doing for this game though. I think we've definitely tackled everything else. <laughs> so it's just a bit of a shame that the demo it has got rough edges <laughs> let's just say that many many rough edges um i'm not able to buy any more kitties it's not letting me buy them can i buy anything else i can buy everything else look my money is going down for everything else actually i can't buy these either yep i've also tried reloading the game as well and uh yeah i'm not able to do anything <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to make much progress if I can't buy the Dom Seeds. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this game's got a lot of problems. So sad. Okay, let's sell this strawberry here. And I now have enough to get one of these houses. We could get the Red Velvet Van Manor, the Melimon Manor, or the Winterbury Estate. Uh, let's see. A family of magic folk. A bright, whimsical and bright like fairies. Or a 
the once powerful Winterberry family. I want to go for this one, actually. Let's repair this residence. Invite resident powered by friendlies. Oh, I get to invite people to come. Residents available to invite. How to invite? Hello, and thank you for using friendlies. So to invite a friend, simply select a friend whose profile picture bubble is enabled. Nobody's enabled. <laughs> If the friend you'd like to invite is disabled, they are currently not looking for a new home. Inviting a friend to stay is permanent, so choose wisely. None of them are working. Uh, I can't invite anyone. What does this mean? I've already paid for it as well. Well, this sucks. It doesn't let me invite anyone. No! <laughs> I did all of that and I can't even get someone to, to come in. Wait, so in order to do this, you have to increase your friendship with them. That's why... Oh, okay. So maybe this is not in the game yet because... I don't have friendship with anybody in this game. I don't know how you get friendship with anybody. I don't think you can yet. I don't think that's in the game yet. <laughs> I did all of that. I got all of that money ready. And it's not even available. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sad. Like, there are people just walking around, but I've no idea how to gift them anything. And stuff like that. And I still can't... Oh, I can buy these now. How come I can buy these when I couldn't buy them earlier? What is going on? I don't know. All right, I'll try one more time with the cat things. And if they don't work, then I think we're done. I don't think there's anything else to do. Okay, these kitties are annoying because as soon as they grow, you have to pick them up like instantly or they die. And sometimes they die even if you do pick them up instantly. It's so annoying. I think any minute now and they should grow. And this is going to be my last attempt at making progress. And if it doesn't work, then I think I'm done with this game for now. All right, okay, some of them worked. All right, that's good. I got I got a couple of kitties. See how quick they died? They literally died instantly. I just saw them like going rotten already. I also have a different kind of kitty here as well. I got like this zombie one and I got a bat with me as well. So we got a nice like array of like different types. So if this doesn't work, then I think it's glitched out because uh, I've tried different types of kitties and I tried to get different ones to see if that would fix it. I don't think it's gonna work. It's not happening, is it? They're like stuck. Let me see if I can just like get them unstuck a second. Is there a bit of a pain? This zombie one is stuck as well. I don't know how to... I don't know how to get him out. He doesn't seem to be moving very much. Oh my gosh, they're a pain. They're a real pain. All right, is he coming out? He, he not coming out. Oh, there you go. I got it to work. Hey. I wonder if this unlocked anything. Shall we have a look? I didn't think that was actually going to work. <laughs> Looks like it kind of like did something. I've activated two things now, right? Does that mean a pathway will now be open? Oh, look, a pathway is now open. Oh my God, getting that to work was a hassle. It was painful, <laughs> really painful. But like... Can I even go anywhere from here? Like, sure, I unlocked that, but like, where does this, where does this lead? Let's have a look. How do I, how do I go further? Is this a cave? Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm up here now. Ooh, I unlocked another one. All right, sweet. So now we can go across here. I'm so glad I actually made progress. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna work. I thought it was like, like, you know, totally glitched. Okay, so now that we unlocked two more, so hopefully, this means that another, like, pathway will have opened up, possibly. I guess I can't go back down the way I came in, but that's okay. All right, I'm just really interested into where, like, to where all this goes. Like, I wonder what this is all about. I'm <laughs> just, like, really, really curious to see if something interesting will happen, but I guess we'll see. All right, so where did that, th I think another one should have unlocked somewhere. There's quite a few of these, like, stone slab things so, so we'll see if we can get something else to, to uh to unlock so yeah it was just like glitched out and i just needed to get like a different a different like cat i guess um oh i don't know if any more unlocked now not actually sure i thought it would be this big one so that that one there with the four symbols that must be like a pretty important one or something i'm trying to work out what we actually unlocked here but i don't 
entirely know. That's the question, isn't it? I don't know. Let's have a look around or something. Okay. Well, we did make some progress at the very least. So that was good. I'm hoping that these are the only plants that we need to like get across. Maybe I missed something back here. Let's just have a look around or something. What about the pathway down here? Let's see. Hmm. How do you get down to that one? That's the question. I'm not too sure right now. Wait, this one looks like it's turned itself off, right? Turn this one back on. Maybe that did something. Wait, did it turn itself off again? It doesn't look activated. What is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. Did that do something? Oh, it's unlocked this area now. Oh, cool. I, I got I got further. I got further. All right. Now to light this one up. All right. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I'm getting excited. <laughs> something might happen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll have to see what, what is up here. This is a big open space for sure. I have no idea where I am I'm going deeper into into the woods. Wait, how do I... Wait, I've already been up there. I already did those ones, didn't I? Those were the ones on the, the top of the cliff. It's just a little glitchy getting these, like, obelisks to actually, like, work. They don't always want to work, so they're really painful. <laughs> one of the ones I activated previously was off, so I had to, like, sort that one out before I could do anything. I don't know if this is, like, different. Like, I'm not sure, does this just go... Is this like the same kind of area? It looks like you can see the top from here. I'm pretty sure this is the same little bit though, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Let me just like double check here. These obelisks don't seem to be on anymore. Maybe they turn off after a certain amount of time or something. They seem to have like reset themselves. So that's kind of annoying because I feel like I gotta like do this quickly, which is a pain in the butt. I'll see what I can do though. Oh, the main one's opened. Yeah, this was the main one. Oh my gosh, what's through here? I'm curious about what we're going to find through here. My gosh, where's this going to lead us? I wonder. Let's see where, where this goes. All right, where am I at now? <laughs> I don't know. This Does this even go anywhere? It's a bit cramped. <laughs> I don't think this goes anywhere. I'm not sure. I don't seem to... There's like a big rock in the way. What's the purpose of this? I don't know what the point of that is, but it's not letting me go anywhere there. So that's weird. But maybe we can go somewhere over here. This looks like a massive open space. So, so perhaps there's something going on here. What's this big kitty thing? What do you think this thing is? Am I supposed to sacrifice some kitties to it or something? What does this thing do? Doesn't seem to do anything, does it? Okay, it's not doing anything. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't do anything. I'm not sure what that, that thing is supposed to do, but it's not doing anything for me right now. I see another obelisk up there. Oh, gosh, <laughs> kind of made me jump. What the? What was that? I don't know. What's happening? H hello? Oh, gosh, there's, dr there's a boss. Oh, my gosh, there's a boss fight in this game. I never knew there was a boss fight. Uh, how do I, how do I fight? <laughs> what, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Did I just use my skills or something? Have I even hurt it? I don't think I've hurt it. Wait, what do these things do? What do these obelisk things do? I don't, I don't know. I think my creatures are dying. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I have no idea. I did just save it beforehand, so if I die, it's alright. But, like, um, I think I'm supposed to activate these obelisks, but, like, I think my cats are stuck. <laughs> hey, kitties, come on. I need you. I need you to activate these. I think I need you. Ah, there you go. They were, like, stuck down there, and that's why it wasn't working. <laughs> and I was, like, so confused. Alright, there we go. Let's Let's do this. Let's beat up these nasty creatures. We'll just light all these things up and everything will be great. I'm sure of it. Uh, there's one at the bottom as well. Let's go do that one too. Oh, the kitty thing is filling up now. Okay, so this must have been for the boss. Oh yeah, every time you turn an obelisk on, the kitty thing fills up. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe we should go and click on it now. See if it does anything. 
I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it's doing something. Um, okay. Oh, it made some, like, pathways appear. And now I can, like, use the bat to get across. Is that what I'm meant to do? I don't know. Let's try. Yeah. Now I can get across here. Uh, is there somewhere else I can go from here? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can keep going. All right, cool. Let's just keep flying. She's flying on invisible things now. <laughs> that looks quite funny. All right, I guess I'm supposed to hit him from above or from on these like platforms up here or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let's let's try. It. Oh, here we go. I'm damaging him now. Hey, let's do some damage with our spells. Happy times. I don't know if I'm taking damage here. I'm not sure. I'm just spamming all my magic abilities in the hopes that I win. <laughs> That's the that's the hope and the plan. Spam all the buttons. Spam him. You can see his health going down. So like this is a good sign. At least I think so. It doesn't even look like I'm doing anything. It looks like I'm just standing here doing nothing. Oh, oh, it looks like we must be on like phase two or something. I'm not sure. It's gone, gone all dark again. Come on, kitty. Come on. I need you to light these obelisks again. We're going for round two. Let's do this. It's really cool that there's a boss fight in here. I kind of thought that there would be some kind of fighting, but I wasn't sure exactly like when it was going to appear. I have to say getting to this stage of the game is not fun. <laughs> This demo, or, well, I don't know, well, <laughs> let's hope that they fix all these bugs and stuff in the full game. Because, um, I had a mission to get this to work. Like, oh my gosh, it was not easy. Not at all. I had such a painful experience <laughs> trying to, trying to get these things to work. Like, there was a time where I couldn't even buy seeds. And then there was, there's a time when, like, my, the, like, actual cursor things weren't even working. So it's, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been very painful. A very painful experience. <laughs> but I persevered because I wanted to see, like, what would happen. I wanted to get to the end of the demo as well i'm guessing that after you defeat this boss that this would be the the end of the demo i would assume all right let's do this we got this the power of magic just defeats all or something i don't know <laughs> we we got this we got this let's take down these nasty serpents how dare they thistle hydras they're called cool stuff oh i didn't mean to didn't mean to press that but yeah we're doing some damage He's on 600 life now, so I think it's probably the final phase. We just gotta do these obelisks again, of course. I don't know if this like nasty, goopy stuff damages you or anything. I do have a health bar. It's, if you look in the bottom left, you can see that there are hearts and underneath you can see that there are like um, purple circles with like a star inside. I think the bottom one, the purple um, icons are my mana. Every time I use spells, that goes down. I think the, the like, thing above that I think those are my health points I think anyway but my health doesn't seem to be going down why did all these reset what have I got to do them in a certain order oh my god <laughs> it gets worse <laughs> I, I don't know I wasn't really looking at what the order was I think it was this one and then I think it was like one down here or something oh my gosh they had to make it harder didn't they okay let's try this one here all right come on little kitties we light this one up? No, they don't seem to want to. All right, let's try this one here. Is the right one? No. Okay, I don't know how this works, but I'm doing something wrong, definitely. I think it's definitely this one here, I think. Let's light that one up. And then it did look like, it did look like there was like one down here or something. Let's try the one furthest away or something. I'm a bit confused about how this works right now see if that works all right those are lit up so maybe this is right shall we try this one on the the far right let's see if this one works let's try this nope that's not right okay okay so at least i got i got these two right at least i think so man these are uh, these clouds are annoying as heck <laughs> I don't know if this thing can actually kill you. I don't seem to be taking damage, so I think we're okay. At least it's like, you know, I don't have to worry about that at the very least. All right, we're going to try this one here and this one down here. I hope that these are working. Are these wrong too? I don't know what the game wants me to do. <laughs> I'm really confused. Oh, it lit up. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay, that was really weird. I didn't it wasn't full so I didn't think it would let me but maybe you only needed to light three of them up or something I thought I was doing something wrong. I was like really confused 
Wait a sec. Oh, there you go. Wasn't flying for some reason. <laughs> oh god, this big game is a pain in the butt. So you only need to lie up three of them. Okay, wait. Where am I going? Wait, where are you going, girl? Wait, what? Why did you climb off? <laughs> I was trying to get up there. <laughs> you silly witch. What is going on? I don't know. All right, looks like I gotta go up there again. Oh man, I'm so close to defeating this thing. I just wanna, I just wanna kick its butt. All right, where are we going? Let's go up here. All right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Let's see if we can defeat him once and for all. Let's do this. Let's do some damage. Ah, I can finally damage it again. <laughs> this makes me happy. Oh, what a palaver. What a palaver. I was like really confused. I think maybe I just like didn't realize. Like there was a symbol above it as well. I don't know if I was just doing the puzzle wrong or something. I'm not too sure. That was really weird. Very strange. But basically I just, um, I think I went to the right first. I did one of the obelisks on the right, then went to the left, did one of those, and then went back to the right again. Um, it just kind of was a fluke, I think. Right, I see three obelisks flashing. I see one up here. I don't think you need to activate all of them. So let's try it. Was the this one and like two on the other side. So if we just try these, so try lighting up these. And then hopefully, uh, well, at least one of these, hopefully this one, okay. And then maybe this one will light up. Try this one, nope, that one didn't light up. Okay, strange, all right, I did that time though. Let's try this one, all right. And then the one on the other side. And then hopefully we can get back up there and finish it off. It's literally got like 300 life left, so, so very close now. All right, it didn't have any others, so I'm hoping that this will just activate. You know, I'm hoping that three of them is all we is all we needed. There we go. All right, now we can go back up and hopefully finish this thing off. <laughs> that would be nice. How do I fly? Come on. <laughs> Stop being a pain in the butt. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit of a pain. All right, let's go, let's go, man. It's so close. It's so nearly dead. It's so nearly defeated. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm kind of excited to see what happens once we defeat it. Maybe something good will happen. Who knows? Who knows? All right, there we go. It's nearly there. His health is going down. Just spam all the buttons. Spam all the buttons. We got this. We got this. I'm sure of it. It's got 100 life left. There's no way it's kicking me out now. Like, come on. <laughs> you can't kick me out now. It's like literally dead. Just let me destroy you. Let me murder you, you nasty Hydra things. All right, we're nearly there. Okay, we got this. Yeah, victory. Hey, happiness, it dropped something. What's this? Press E. Can I have it? How do I pick that up? What is it? Press E. This thing is giving off a strange energy. The relics need to stay in the mansion. Autumn Relic Whisper? Okay, but... I know this is hard, but we have no choice. This is the only way. Who are those voices? Weird. They seem scared. I wonder what this has to do with the mansion. So many questions. No answers. And that's the end of the demo! Thank you for playing and congratulations, you've slain the Thistle Hydra and obtained a relic of the past. There is much more to come. Please help bring the story to a conclusion by supporting Critter Crops and then all the, all the things are there. So that's cool. Feel free to close the window and continue playing. So that is officially the end and what we got, this is the relic of the past, an awesome mage relic. Which supposedly is an important item or something. It looks like there is like, I don't know what this is, some kind of ice gateway or something. Very interesting. That was a lot of work to get to the end of this demo. It was very painful. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> um, they need to work on this game a lot. <laughs> just There's a lot of rough edges. But like i don't know something about it is really charming it's a very charming game love the art style love the the little creatures the creatures are really sweet and really cute i really like the way they look they're interesting they're quite unique as well the farming i feel like there needs to be something more with like the farming aspect like it's just too long to wait and i get really bored of waiting for the crops to grow and there's nothing else to do whilst i'm waiting they need to do something something more with that and you can't go off explore because then your crops will rot so it's just like 
it's just it kind of just makes it feel a bit tedious you know so i think they need to do something more of that but the puzzle stuff was pretty cool when it was working <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that doesn't work in this game sadly but it was an interesting experience i hope you enjoyed this demo we did manage to uh, accomplish all of it, so that was pretty awesome. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.